What's up everybody? Welcome back to another review. Today we're going to be looking at Marvel Legends, Wendigo Wave, Nightcrawler right there. So excited to finally get this guy in hand. I've been waiting for him for a long time. Yes, the Build-A-Figure piece is missing. This is not a used figure, but how I got this is I had to get rid of this piece to get this. I made a deal with my buddy. So, it's open, but the figure's brand new. He hasn't even been taken out of the blister yet. So you can see on the side, you can see a nice image of Nightcrawler. Doesn't really look like this Nightcrawler they have on the packaging. He looks older, but whatever. Then on the front, you can see Nightcrawler inside himself without his build a figure piece. Then on the back, you can see we have Marvel Legends Wendigo right here with all the figures in the wave. Don't plan on picking any of these up, especially not Cannonball without legs. We have a pull. We have the full image of Nightcrawler right there with the bio on the back. You can go ahead, pause that, read that now if you can actually see it in the video. But nothing really too much else to the packaging, so let's go ahead and get this awesome thing on open. Oh, and one thing I just spotted is, is you can see how this is supposed to be when you open the figure. This, this, this is right in there and it goes back here. Well, this is still sealed. I'm not going to open this side, but they messed it up. You can see it doesn't go back. It's just folded in. This is supposed to go inside when this is just folded over and looks weird. So great job, Hasbro. Okay, guys, initial thoughts getting this guy out of packaging is whoa. He is so much better than I actually thought he would be. He probably is my favorite Marvel Legend I own. So let's go ahead and get a closer look at this figure. So here we go. Not any really paint splotching or anything on this figure. It looks just really nice. Um, the only thing really paint wise that I'm going to go over right now is, you, I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but the red right here is a painted red on top of black. And then this right here is a sculpted red laid over the black sculpted body so you can see it's a little bit off but not really too noticeable unless you're really trying to nitpick but a lot of the sculpt is new use the hands are new obviously but the arms are the old pizza spider-man mold with the butterfly joint I don't know it might be a new butterfly joint I'm not gonna go in there and look um, and then the legs are the old pizza spider-man mold except for the feet obviously those are brand new feet and another thing is my leg is a little bit warped out. It looked really bad in the packaging. I don't know if you saw. And the joints here, I feel like I have like the switch legs problem, but I don't. I don't think, but the joint pegs right there are sticking out. I don't know if it picks up on camera, but they're sticking out and it looks a little bit odd, but there's really not that many problems with this. Looking at accessories, you get this head right here, which is like the smile kind of happy head. You get a more stern nightcrawler head and then you get a angry rampage nightcrawler head i do not know why they gave you three heads i'm not complaining but that's super awesome so to switch the heads it's kind of weird I'll switch it into the yelling head you pop it off and it pops off easily but to put it on there's no like snap on so you don't really know that you put it on it's like i don't know i guess there was a pop but normally there's not a pop for it and then the neck looks kind of odd to me when you get it into like these kinds of poses it looks very chunky and weird but when it's standing forward it looks pretty normal and then for the hands there's no extra hands for this hand it's just a splayed out three hand kind of thing this hand is the excalibur hand I'm, i don't know if it's actually called the excalibur but it looks like an excalibur you get a up and down hinge joint inside the wrist instead of this kind of hinge joint where it's like that I don't, I'm not good at this and then <laughs> instead it just has this which is really nice then to get the sword out of the hand and in it's a little bit hard but you just kind of twist it out and it comes out the sword looks very nice looks pretty good no really paint splotching except for right there it looks kind of weird but nothing too noticeable and then he does come with an extra hand for this hand, which is another splayed open hand. It's slightly less splayed out than this one, but it's basically the same. So to switch those out, oh, pop that out, and you just push this one in. Super easy to do, and you get a different kind of hand. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the articulation on this guy. It's really good. Um, butterfly joints really don't do much, but... The articulation on this guy, I was just amazed. There's a few figures where I have where I just cannot put him down because I have so much fun with him. So taking a look at the head, it can move up that far, move down that far, bury the chin. 
got a little bit of shift in there, then not much pivot there, and then it can go 360 rotation on that ball hinge. Then at the butterfly joint, can move forward on the butterfly that much, back that much, not really any butterfly joint. It's nice that it's there because you can kind of see it and it looks cool, but eh. Joints can move up that far, move down that far, 360 rotation. This kind of gets in the way, but it's a little bit rubberish, so you can kind of push it out of the way, but it'll get about that far up. Then a swivel at the bicep, double jointed elbows goes way past 90, but not all the way. Wrist swivel and a hinge, different on the cutlass hand. Ab will move down that far, back that far, have a swivel at the torso. The tail on the back moves 360, not a bendy wire. It Mine's a little bit loose, you can see I'll push it up and it'll fall back down. Because, I don't know, the tail's just a little bit loose, but it's good. You can get it in some cool positions where it'll actually stay, you just gotta mess with it a little bit. Then the legs will move out that far, move back that far because of the butt. Out crazy far, swivel at the calf, then we got a double jointed knee bend all the way, which is super nice, and then no calf swivel here. Do I call this the calf? I don't even know anymore. But we have the ankle right here, which will move forward that far, which is crazy far. Move back, crazy far. And then we have a crazy swivel, which will move all the way, which is just the ankles on this they nailed. Overall, I love this figure. Just messing with it when I initially got it out of the packaging, I was just like, wow. It's kind of a hard figure to find, but if you can find it, pick it up. It's kind of rare, I'm hoping it'll go back down in price, but this figure is phenomenal. I'd give this a 9.5 out of 10. It's amazing. Before I do the outro to this, I better do a size comparison. Here he is next to No Pants Deadpool, and he comes in at about six and a quarter inches tall. If you care, here's Wolverine next to him. But yeah, final conclusion, buy one, buy them all, buy everyone you see. I heard there's actually multiple case, I think there's two, and there's two X-Force Wolverines, which are probably going to end up being shelf warmers if my guess is correct. But yeah, I'm glad that Hasbro gave us a little bit more of a chance to grab Nightcrawler, but it's just really hard to find him. But anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like, make sure to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.